Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Christopher Daniels, a.k.a. Reverend Divine, and this is your 5-Minute Ministry Monday. Guess who's back? This queen is back. I took a little bit of a hiatus. You know, life happened. But what was so heartwarming is that so many of you came up to me on the street, at the grocery store, at the gym, in Shavasana, wherever, and you just said how much these videos meant to you and how much you enjoyed them and how much you got out of them. And it really inspired me to bring it back. So here we are. Five Minute Ministry Monday. Now, if this is your first time joining us on Mondays, Five Minute Ministry Mondays where I take a topic and I deliver a sermon about said topic in five minutes or less, usually more, not less, but I have an alarm, a trusty alarm that in my face if I go over that five minutes because it keeps me humble and honest. Now, for today's topic, I thought I would talk about a movement that is sweeping our nation, and that is the I'm spiritual but not religious. We find this especially amongst young people who are leaving organized faith and organized religion, leaving that all behind, and they are creating their own spirituality, their own mosaic tapestry of how they connect beyond themselves with something higher than themselves. So whether you go out into nature and talk with rocks or have little chit chats with Pachamama as you take a walk or call upon your angels whenever you need to find your car keys, whatever it may be, there is a growing conglomeration of spiritual folks, which my teacher, my yoga teacher, would say to all the different conglomerates, whatever gets you to the mat. So whatever allows you to feel a deeper intuitive connection with yourself, with the universe, with source, and really allows you to feel that oneness, go ahead with your bad self. Now, that being said, like with all things. There are individuals that um, can be a little unnerving and engage in highly annoying habits, and spiritual people are no different. So I'm going to talk about some of the most highly annoying habits of spiritual folks. Now, I preface this by saying I have engaged in all of these. And some of them I still do. And I realize that my annoyance comes from a place of fear. And the annoyance is actually just a mirror that is being reflected back to me. What I find annoying within myself, I'm aware. I'm aware, but I'm still going to talk about it. Because if we can't laugh at ourselves and if we can't poke fun at ourselves just a little bit and not take things so seriously, especially spirituality, then what? So... I don't know where I was going with that. So, I've got five minutes on the clock, <clears throat> and here we go. So, the five highly annoying habits of spiritual people. The one thing that spiritual people that we need to be mindful of is just because we are walking the spiritual path does not mean that you are better than anybody else. Everybody is on their journey. Everybody is on their path. And it's not for you to judge or discern that people should be other places than exactly where they are. So just because you went to some weekend retreat or attended some conference or listened to some online summit or got some tool or attuned to something does not mean that you are better because it's not about the tools it's how you use them and the tools are really meant for our own personal spiritual development so that we can walk through this world with little or no shadow and we can be those conduits of God's ever expressing unconditional love let me hear you now that being said like any group they have their own language and their own own terminology that they use amongst each other. And one of the most trite overused words in any spiritual circle is download. So if you're sitting in a group of spiritual folks, you might think that they work for Apple or surf the internet the entire time because all you ever hear every other word is download. I just received a massive download. You know what? During my morning meditation, a massive download just dropped upon. You know what? When you were just talking right now, something that you said brought a download into my body. Yes, it did. Now, download, just like it's material technological word, is just a body of knowledge that is then dropped in. And it can come from your higher self, your ancestral spirits, your gods, 
whomever. And the reason why I think it's a little annoying is because we almost use it to validate and bring credit to whatever it is that we're saying. So instead of saying, you know, I just had a thought or a feeling or an idea came into my mind. I don't even know where it came from. I just have a gut feeling. I have just a sense of whatever. We then say, I have this download. And then everyone goes, ooh, a download. So we almost use it to make it sound uh, more important uh, than it actually is. The next thing, the next highly annoying habit of a spiritual folks is everything means something. So the universe is constantly giving us messages, trying to give us signposts to navigate our lives, which means that spiritual folks will read into the tiniest of things and kind of go into this paranoid downward spiral. So instead of just thinking, mm, this happened, if I burn my Brussels sprouts for dinner, I suddenly think, oh my gosh, what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Oh my gosh. Does it mean that I am burning out? Does it mean that I need to let go of things? Does that mean that I am wasting my life? Oh my gosh. Does that mean I am a waste? Oh, what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Sometimes it just means that you were paying attention to the Brussels sprouts because you were listening to a Matt Kahn video and just got wrapped up into the brilliance of it that you didn't check the burner. So sometimes things just are, and we don't necessarily need to go into the deeper levels of what it means. That being said, spiritual people often struggle with making decisions like we all do when we move into fear. We're afraid of making mistakes. We're afraid of making a wrong choice. Spiritual folks have a lot more tools to keep them in indecision. So imagine a Friday night, two friends get together. They engage in the usual battle of where they are going to eat out for dinner. And instead of just going on Yelp or searching online for reviews, they instead say, Let's check our pendulums. What happens if the pendulums conflict? Then they go to the cards and they pull a card and then they pull another card. And before you know it, you look out and it's like solitaire. They have pulled so many cards from so many decks that there are conflicting messages that they are more confused as to where they should go to eat because now they're questioning the eating of itself and whether they should actually leave their home or go back to bed. The next thing that spiritual folks do is we are all psychic. We are all clairvoyant. We can all tap into that wisdom. However, there's a feeling that if you say something, I'm going to one up whatever you say by telling you that I already knew that you were going to say it. So if a friend comes to you and says, you know what? I've made the decision that I'm just going to do this. A spiritual friend might be like, mm, you know what? I knew you were going to do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had a download this morning. I just, you know what I knew? Um, because I had a matching picture in my head. It just, you know what? It just came to me, it just came to me. You know, I was walking in the forest and a hawk flew by overhead and it gave me the message that you were going to do this. So just to let you know, um, that I knew this was going to happen. And that is our five minutes. Woo! Lord! So, I hope you had a fantastic time for 5 Minute Mystery Mondays. Tune back in every single Monday for a brand new episode. Make sure you check out Alchemist Theater Presents Bliss for our Art Town Productions happening the last Wednesday of the month, 7.30 p.m. at Center for Spiritual Living. We also very excitingly just launched Alchemist Sanctuary, which is the healing arm of Alchemist Movement. So if you feel as though you have stuck stagnant energies in your life and you are wanting to move forward, gain clarity, gain purpose, uh, let go of your past, shed some wounding, whatever the case may be, uh, you should head to alchemistmovement.org, click on our sanctuary button, and take a list at all of the amazing services that we provide, as well as the incredible team of practitioners that we are building. It is really exciting. Uh, Alchemist Movement is generating some phenomenal uh, momentum right now. So make sure that you like our Facebook page, check out our website, and I will see you next Monday for 5-Minute Ministry Monday. God bless.